this observation hive is at the rare breeds farm in Totnes. It's quite difficult to see what's going on because of the reflections off the glass, but what we have here is a vertically orientated observation hive with um, national size, British national size honey, co honey frames at the top, super frames, and running down to four levels of national brood size frames and the bees are building comb on the two upper brood frame sections. Now these are two frames deep so we can't actually see what's going on between the frames unless we go around the back and take it out. I'm just going to try and get a bit closer And I'm sure you can see me on my reflection better than you can the bees at this distance, but there is actually brood in there. There's actually clearly a laying queen. There's quite a lot of brood visible, and the bees seem to be doing a decent job of keeping it warm enough to hatch. And so I'm not at all concerned about them now, although I was before. Uh, this hive appears to be working now. Right down at the bottom here, there we can see there's a slot right at the bottom, and there's a couple of bees hanging around it, not a lot of activity. That's the exit and entrance to the hive, which goes out along that wooden pipe there, and then comes out behind this fence, and I'll try and show you where the actual exit is. And there's some chickens keeping an eye on it. The actual entrance is down there. I'll zoom into a little bit. That's the entrance, that's where they fly in and out. And right next to it are the red squirrels. They're having a great time in there, running around in their cages. Say hello. Not for long. So there's the entrance, there's the shed that houses the hive. And there's our squirrels. There is a plan to erect a non reflective screen over on this side get, uh, be, uh, between the uh, path and the woods so that we can cut out the reflections on the glass and see what's going on better. Let's see if I can position myself. There we go, you can see a little bit better now. That's the whole hive. There is provision for an insulating screen to be put in between the glass that is the front of the hive and the actual glass window here uh, for the winter so the bees can regulate the temperature better. The back of the hive is a fairly substantial plywood and that's also going to have some extra insulation so they should be fine I think for the winter. There's a little bit more activity around the entrance now. But it's quite late in the afternoon, so we don't expect a lot. They haven't started drawing out the comb in these lower two sections yet, but I suspect they will because they're being fed constantly at the moment to build them up for winter. And uh, they've stored quite a lot of honey in those top, not in the very top sections, not in the, um, not in what we would regard as the super areas, but the upper brood frames, uh, a chock full of honey. I don't know whether you can see that, but there's a bee doing a waggle dance. Uh, I don't think it's possible to see it there. Okay, so there it is. That's the Totnes Reed Rare Breeds Farm observation hive. <laughs>